Are you facing low FPS, stutters and FPS drops on your budget PCs while gaming? In this video, I'll show you how I got over 240 FPS in Fortnite using every single step. From unlocking all CPU cores, tweaking your registry using tools like Park Control and ISLC, to setting NVIDIA Profile Inspector the right way. So without skipping anything, so let's get started. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 1. Unparking all CPU cores and threads for Fortnite budget PCs. In this step, we are going to enable all of your processor's cores and threads to improve performance. Press the Windows key on your keyboard, then type System Configuration and open it. Once it's open, go to the Boot tab. Click on the Advanced Options button. Now check the box that says Number of Processors. From the drop-down menu, choose the highest number that shows up. This number is the total amount of CPU cores and threads that your processor has, and selecting the maximum number allows Windows to use all of them. After selecting the highest number, click OK, then click Apply, and finally click OK again. A window will pop up asking you to restart your computer. You can choose to restart now or later. Step 2. Setting Fortnite Process Priority for Fortnite Budget PCs You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Open the Fortnite Priority Manager folder that came with the downloaded optimization files. Inside the folder you will see three different files. Fortnite Above Normal, Priority. Fortnite High Priority, Fortnite Normal Priority, Default Windows Setting. If you are using a low-end or budget PC, double-click the file named Fortnite Above Normal Priority. If you are using a mid-range or high-end PC, double-click the file named Fortnite High Priority. If you want to restore Fortnite's priority to the default Windows setting, double-click Fortnite Normal Priority. After you double-click the file you want, a box will appear asking if you want to allow changes. Click Yes. This change will now be saved in your system's registry and will take effect automatically when you start Fortnite. Step 3. Applying RAM-specific registry tweaks for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Budget PCs, in this step, we will improve how your RAM works by applying tweaks that are specific to how much RAM your computer has. Open the folder called RAM Tweaks from the optimization files. Inside this folder, you will see registry files labeled by RAM size like 4GB, 8GB, 16GB, etc. Find the file that matches your system's RAM size. For example, if your PC has 8GB of RAM, double-click the 8GB RAM .reg file. After you double-click it, a confirmation window will appear. Click Yes, then click OK. This tweak will help your RAM work better by changing how Windows manages memory usage, which will improve your PC's speed and make Fortnite run more smoothly. Step 4. Optimizing CPU. Using Park Control for Fortnite budget PCs, you can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will use a tool called Park Control by Bitsum to unlock full CPU performance. Open the Park Control program. If you haven't installed it yet, download it and install it first. Once you open it, look for the setting called Performance Profile. Change it to Bitsum Highest Performance. Now go down to these settings and make the following changes. Set Parking AC to Disabled. Set Parking DC to Disabled Set Frequency. Scaling AC to Disabled Set Frequency. Scaling DC to Disabled. Also, make sure that Bitsum Dynamic Boost is enabled. This setting helps by letting your CPU save power when idle, nest neat, and then run at full power when gaming. Next, go to the Windows Power Option settings and change the plan to Bitsum Highest Performance. Then set the minimum and maximum processor state to 100%. Click Make Active, then click. Click Apply to save all changes. Step 5. Applying NVIDIA Profile Inspector settings for Fortnite budget PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, we will change some advanced settings for Fortnite using a program called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Open the NVIDIA Profile Inspector program. From the top drop-down, find and select the profile for Fortnite. If you downloaded my custom profile from Discord, you can import it now. If not, follow these steps manually. In the anti-aliasing section, set anti-aliasing. Transparency, super sampling to 0x008. Then scroll to the texture filtering section. Set texture filtering. Driver controlled LOD, bias to on. Set texture filtering, LOD, bias, DX and texture filtering, LOD, bias, OGL. Both to plus three, 2000. This change lowers texture quality to boost FPS. Set texture filtering, negative LOD, bias to clamp. Set texture filtering, quality to high quality. Under Power Management Mode, choose Optimal Performance. Click Apply Changes in the upper right corner to save everything. These settings reduce texture rendering load, boost FPS, and remove micro stutters. 
In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 6. Using ISLC to optimize RAM and reduce input lag for Fortnite budget PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will use a program called ISLC to manage standby memory and reduce latency. Open the ISLC program. At the top, you will see the total system memory in MB. Divide that number by 2 and enter it into the list size as at least box. For example, if you have 16,000 MB of RAM, enter 8,000. If you have 32,000 MB, enter 16,000 and so on. Now check the following boxes. Start ISLC Minimize Launch. ISLC on user logon enable custom timer resolution set custom timer resolution to 0.5 row. Set the polling rate to 1000. If your PC is slow, you can use 1000 instead. Click stop, then click start, and finally click purge standby list. Leave the program running in the background. This helps free up RAM and keeps Fortnite smooth during long gaming sessions. Step 7. Boosting GPU performance using MSI mode. Utility for Fortnite budget PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now we will make your GPU perform better using a tool called MSI Utility V3. Open the MSI Utility program. You will see a list of devices installed on your PC. Look for your discrete graphics card. For example, NVIDIA GeForce GTX or RTX. Tick the checkbox next to MSI, then set the interrupt priority to high. Next, look for your integrated GPU, for example, Intel UHD or Vega Graphics. Tick the checkbox next to MSI, set the interrupt priority to high, click apply at the bottom right corner, then close the program. This step reduces input delay and makes your GPU more responsive. Step 8. Disabling startup apps for better boot time and performance for Fortnite budget PCs. Finally, we will disable apps that automatically run when your computer starts. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC to open the task manager. Click on the startup tab. Here you will see a list of all apps that start with Windows. Go through the list and disable all unnecessary apps like Discord, Spotify, Epic Games Launcher, Update Checkers, etc. To disable an app, right-click on it and select Disable. This makes your PC boot faster and improves system performance by reducing background usage. Once done, restart your PC to apply all the tweaks. After rebooting, your PC will be more responsive and Fortnite will run smoother with higher FPS and lower input delay.